Welcome to a Gendex video training series that demonstrates the functionality of VixWin Platinum 3.5 imaging software. This tutorial will show you how to capture digital images in the Windows layout view. Radiographic 2D images taken by phosphorus plate scanners, panoramic and cephalometric units, and intraoral cameras and sensors may be automatically acquired into VixWin and then selected for treatment, analysis, and saving. When the desktop icon is double-clicked, VixWin will open to the patient folder window. Let's double-click on a patient or select a patient and then select OK to open the user interface. In this example, the interface opens in the full mouse series mode, which was used with the previous patient. Sensor images captured now would be automatically saved, oriented, and properly mounted. For the purposes of this video, we will instead use the Windows Layout view. To change views, click on the Windows Layout icon on the toolbar. Information regarding acquiring images into a mount can be found in the User Manual, which is viewable by clicking on the User Manual icon on the toolbar, or in the Capturing a Full Mouse Series video tutorial, which is available in the Imaging Solutions section of the Cavo.com website or on YouTube. Let's capture an image with our intraoral sensor. While the Windows Layout view does not offer the automatic mounting that the full mouth view does, it will allow the user to assign images to patients. Let's click the Save Image Toolbar icon, which will open the dialog window. In the dropdowns, you may choose either a TIFF, JPEG, or JFIF file format. If unsure of which to choose, stick with the default formats. You can also choose the image type. Next, select the location of the image in the tooth chart area. A green check mark will appear to indicate the image has been selected. For this example, however, we'll select one of the bite wing positions. Let's choose bite wing left cuspid. The other two bite wing choices for the patient's left side are for an incisor or a molar. In the image notes area, add any notes that you would like to be associated with the image. If you would like to compare scans taken over time, it's easy to do. I do not have time distance x-rays of the same tooth, so for demonstration purposes, I have saved a copy of the previously saved bite wing. Let's click the Load Images Toolbar icon. Bite wings of the same dentition will be stacked and dated. Next, click on the visible bite wing. The eye indicates the last selected image. Click on the right or left arrow to go to the next image, click on it, then click OK. You can now click and drag the images to reveal the two bite wings for comparison purposes. Now let's take a Ceph and a panoramic x-ray. Let's click the Save All Images toolbar icon to open the Save Image dialog window. The last image taken will appear first in the Save Image dialog window and its thumbnail image will be displayed. Let's choose Panoramic in the drop-down and click Save. The thumbnail image of the Ceph will appear. Let's select the image type and click Save. The dialog window will disappear and we will be back in the user interface. Let's close the images and select Load Images again. There has been a couple of periapicals taken since we last viewed the Load Images window. Let's drag the x-ray to the mount. There was also a CBCT scan taken. When a 3D scan is taken through VixWin, a thumbnail image will be saved. Providing the Anatomage and Vivo imaging program is installed on the computer, VixWin will enable the user to launch the program to render the 3D volume. To view the scan, double-click on the thumbnail, right-click on the thumbnail image in the user interface, then click Render this 3D volume to load the scan into NVivo. Let's return to the Load Images dialog window. When the window opens, you will be in Status View. Images are arranged according to the tooth association the user has entered. The thumbnails of images without tooth associations are displayed in the lower part of the window. The most recent image will appear toward the far left corner of the Load Images window. To change the position of a thumbnail in the mount, drag the thumbnail to the desired position. Notes may be added by right-clicking on an image. To browse through images, select one or more images by clicking on them. Click OK and all selected images will be available for viewing. Let's close the images and go back to the Load Images dialog window. 
click on Browser to go to the Browser view. Images are arranged in chronological order, newest to oldest. Just as in the Status view, images can be selected for viewing and notes may be added for each image. In the Browser or Status view, you may delete, modify, export, print, or email an image or images. Modify will allow you to select an image and make changes to its file format or classification and to enter or modify notes. Export allows the user to change the image file format if desired and export it to a destination folder on the desktop, to another computer on the network, or to a USB flash drive or CD. You may include a VixWin viewer with it before you export the file. Print enables the printing of selected images. You will be able to add or edit notes that will be included with the printed image. The email function will attach any or all images to your Outlook or Lotus Notes email programs. Outlook must be a 32-bit version. You may select an image and delete it if desired. Clicking on Help will open the VixWin Platinum User's Guide. This completes the overview of acquiring images in the Windows Layout View. If you have any unanswered questions, or if you would like additional information, consult the VixWin Platinum 3.5 User Manual. If you still have questions, contact Gendex Customer Support at 800-769-2909.